my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and today we have a upgrade for the G4 Cube. Now, last video I did, supposedly I got a board that was upgraded, and it was not. And by the way, if you want to buy that, that's on eBay. But anyway, uh, what I have now is, I just got it the other day. So this uh, is a 600 megahertz upgraded board. And uh, I got this off of an eBay seller. And uh, that's what he specializes in. He makes these uh, custom boards. And so anyway, uh, we're going to put this in the G4. This is supposed to give me a 30% speed boost. I'll talk a little bit more specifically during the video here before we get started on it. But yeah, I'm excited. And uh, also got something else that's coming for the uh, cube. And uh, we have sound on it, but we don't have a bong on it, the bong time. And uh, there's a reason for that. And uh, what I'm getting is going to take care of that. Okay, and that should be showing up in the next day or two. And I'm going to do a video on that as well. So anyway, so we're going to get this put in. But like I said, we'll talk about it a little bit more before we actually start taking the, uh, the cube apart and putting it in. Okay, so be back in a few minutes. So anyway, let's take a little closer look at the board here before we uh, start putting it in the um, G4 cube. So anyway, so this board, I got this off of an eBay seller, and that's what he does. He modifies these boards. He, he does them in all kinds of different configurations. Now, he does do these in a much higher clock frequency, but I snagged this one up pretty reasonable, and it's a 600 megahertz, but it's not just a typical G4 processor. Uh, this one, it, like I said, it's a 600, mega, 600 megahertz G4 upgrade. In this process, originally a 7400 out of a digital audio power Mac, and the part number for that was 820-1175. And the processor had been replaced with the newer one, that's a MPC7410, which was soldered to the card, that's this one right here. And the bus multiplier and voltage has also been adjusted so it runs at six times the bus and has been tested at the 600 megahertz and this way uh, it makes it a direct swap for the 450 megahertz uh, 7400 CPU in the Apple Cube. And uh, basically it's supposed to yield a 30% speed boost with no modifications to the Cube. You don't need to update the uh, firmware patches, um, the Cube can remain fanless although mine we put a fan in it and I'm glad I did because that thing just runs really really cool um, and um, has the 7410 with the new chip here it runs at lower voltage and uses less power than the original 7400 that we have in it now and uh, it, it's one of the few upgrades you can do to the cube that uh, that you don't require a fan but if we go to a higher um, C, you know, clock frequency CPU then of course then you need the fan um, the, an interesting note is it will also fit into any G4 Power Mac Tower computer that came out before the MDD. So yeah, so uh, eventually uh, when he offers the uh, 1.28 megahertz, I think there were 125, 1.25, uh, I will eventually upgrade that because with Leopard, you really it calls for a minimum of uh, I believe it's uh, 887. Uh, clock speed on your processor and it is extremely low slow to uh, load up uh, the way that it is now with the 450 megahertz processor it does run it it takes a long time for it to boot up I also ran Geekbench um, on it too and I did it in Tiger and I also did it in Leopard in Tiger it took about 11-12 uh, minutes uh, which is pitifully slow by today's standards but uh, it, it does it and uh, got the geek bench scores and we'll go over that here after we do the uh, upgrade and then the leopard took like about 21 22 minutes with much much lower 
Geekbench score than running it in Tiger, and, and I'm uh, lar largely that's due to the uh, the bottleneck on the clock speed on this thing. So anyway, we're going to swap this board out, and then we'll do some new uh, benchmarks on it here. I'll give you a little closer look here too before we cut to the different video here. But uh, yeah, it's uh, all the pins look fine on it. it. Looks beautiful. I mean the board. He does fabulous work, and um, I also inquired about him doing a gigabit Ethernet board for this. I was asking him if he had seen the difference between the original uh, 10 uh, base 100 uh, Ethernet board out of the uh, cube versus the uh, the gigabit. And he has seen pictures of it, but he doesn't have any specs. So I'm trying to do my research trying to get the schematics, trying to find whatever information I can, and um, and then I'm going to send him a, a regular G cube for a, a board, an Ethernet board, and uh, and he said if it's basically the same layout, it's just a matter of just changing out a few components on it and should work just fine, so we will find that out. But I gotta do my homework, and um, of course I don't know what's gonna cost me, but. I'd love to get the uh, gigabit Ethernet because that would definitely make this thing run a lot better on the internet for sure. Um, so yeah, so we're going to uh, get this swapped out and uh, um, I'm very curious to see the speed bump in it. You know, as we did the one video a while back, uh, I thought I had gotten a 400 and, or 550 megahertz board and it turned out to be a 400 megahertz so that was a big disappointment I actually have that uh, board uh, on eBay if anybody's interested in it you can buy it um, and then if this one works good I'm gonna sell the uh, 450 board out of this one uh, as well because I, I really don't have any need for it um, so anyway yeah so we'll uh, we'll continue with the, uh, the update on the video here just give me a few minutes and we'll get set up for the uh, tear apart on the cube again and uh, I'm going to speed it up because I'm getting pretty fast at taking it apart I hate to admit it because I've had it apart so many times but uh, anyway we'll get this new board in it and get it powered up and we'll do a, a live boot up on it and see how it works okay All right. So, okay guys so we're going to take it apart sorry I'm out of frame here but uh, I know your interest is going to be on this here so we're going to start taking it apart here again and like I said I'm going to speed this video up and um, get it uh, to work. It's a little more exciting. Okay guys, so I got the thermal paste here, and we're going to put that on here, and uh, gee whiz, I got, that, I got that on there tight. Hang on just a second here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put 
thermal paste on it here. And uh, just want you to get a look at that board again there. And we're going to paste on here. And you know, I I always put probably too much on it, but that's all right. I have too much than not enough, as they say. And uh, if it is, this is non-conductive, so it, even if it gets on the other part of it, it's not going to hurt it. So, and uh, just going to put a little bit right here. I just did this the other day. I'm not worried about wiping this off because I just did this, like I said, a couple weeks ago. So, and uh, again, we're going to put this on here. We'll speed speed the process up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this on here first. Okay guys, so we're gonna we're gonna boot it up here. Um, let me plug the keyboard in here real quick. And have it down here. And this is all ready to go. Get my little extension cord here. Okay, alrighty. So this is gonna be a first boot on this with the new processor. Let's cross our fingers and hope that it uh, works. I'm going to plug it in here. <clears throat> and it's booting up. And it's getting a video signal. It should boot into Tiger. And it does take a little while. go that's a good sign and like I said it does take a little time for it to boot into it um, and being that it was all apart and everything too it's got to figure everything out the next time it boots up it should be a little faster and so yeah so like I said I'm trying to get this thing to to run a little run faster and uh, you know the G4s they're still a very useful computer um, nice thing about them is the technology that we have today uh, we can make them a more usable uh, computer uh, 
I can already tell it's a little, little quicker. Uh, yeah, uh, I know. It's it's all good. All right. So let's uh, go about this Mac. See what it tells us here. And looky there, 600 mega megahertz. And let's go for more info here. And right there, our PC one, 600 megahertz, one megabyte of uh, L2 cache, 100 megahertz, 100 megahertz bus speed, boot ROM, and uh, nice. I'm just gonna see. Uh, I just want to check the uh, graphics here too, and uh, it shows you that it's got the GeForce 2 MX in it. That's the uh, built to order board for these things too. I, I lucked out on that actually. So anyway, okay, so let's do Geekbench, okay? Like I said, it took about 10 minutes before to uh, do the Geekbench, but we'll we'll do the Geekbench on it. We'll speed it up and uh, we'll see how, nope, later. And we're gonna run it. We'll see how much faster this is. Okay guys, so there's, there's it took about the same, almost the same amount of time to do the uh, Geekbench test on it there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to open up the one that I saved here. Uh, let's see, our uh, documents here, uh, Geekbench right here. Alright, so this is a score we got with the 450 megahertz board okay and you can see there's definitely an increase let me uh, shrink this down here a little bit okay hold on a second here sorry i'm trying to do it this is left-handed here not very good and then uh, let me shrink this one down a little bit here and you can already see there's definitely a there's definitely a speed speed improvement you look up under here processor integrated performance the old one was 268 this is a 387 a floating point unit definitely faster 300 this was a 222 uh, memory performance that was a 201 this is a 213 and memory bandwidth performance 122 and that's a 119 so it's it's allowing everything to work faster so that's that's pretty good increase right there and um, let's take a look here Processor architecture. Let's look at this one here. Get on the same one here. So you'll see PowerPC ID 800. This had those that didn't really have anything on it. One thread, one thread. Uh, same bus frequency. Uh, L2 instruction. Same. That's the same but definitely a definitely a speed gain for sure 
Um, so I'm I'm happy at that. Like I said, it takes about the same amount of time to do the test. I think the first one took about 12 minutes, 11, 12 minutes. This one was just was almost about the same here. Uh, and uh, let's see your stream. I just wanted to see the stream on this thing here. This one here. Let's see the stream. Stream scale. So 132. So let's look at this here. So see the streaming is better too on it. Stream copy 105. This is uh, 94. But uh, let's see here. A couple things are faster on it here. Like the stream, stream add. That one was 119. This is 132, 138, 124. Stream trend 152 to 123, and also one. So there's definitely, definitely uh, enhancements on it for sure. So I'm going to uh, take this one, X out of that one, and I'm going to take this one. We're going to copy it here. Oops, trying to anyway. Uh, select. All copy, and then we're going to go here and we're going to go to um, text edit here, and we're going to paste it, paste it. There we go, and then we're going to save. And then we're going to call this uh, Geekbench. Uh, that's a 600 megahertz. Um, see. Oh shoot! What happened here? 600. Oops. Let's try this again here. 600. Okay, and double save it. I guess I'm trying to do all this stuff. I got it laying on a blanket here and stuff. The kitties lay up here on my desk. Okay, good. All right, so now what I want to do is uh, I want to I want to do this uh, in Leopard. Leopard is really <laughs> miserable on this one here. So let's uh, we're going to reboot this here. And then I'm gonna, gonna hold down the option key here. And then we're gonna reboot it here in Leopard. I'm curious to see what difference on that, because I really should notice a big difference in Leopard too, because Leopard runs extremely slow because again Leopard's looking for it. Uh, you know the threshold on the processor is 887 megahertz or thereabouts. But I tricked this to to at the beginning so it installed but it's a new install of Leopard and um, we'll see how the Geekbench does on that and it took like about 21 22 minutes on that it took a long time so we'll see but for you guys it'll go real quick because we're gonna speed it up so we're just waiting for the boot picker here so we can get into uh, Leopard and uh, yeah so, so far I think this has been a pretty successful upgrade. I'll have to play with the apps on it too, just to see how fast it opens things, like especially on the internet. I know some things it takes a long time for it to open up, even a tiger. So, just waiting for a little watch symbol, symbol here to go away. And then we'll click Leopard and we'll boot into Leopard here. And just waiting, waiting. And I'm sure there's ways I can tweak the system here to make Leopard run a little faster if I could um, on the startup there. Get rid of the memory check on it and uh, probably put a, a sudo command in there not to look for that uh, processor speed because that's I'm sure that's bottlenecking it a little bit and make it get into opening it up sooner. But like I said, now when I go to the boot picker on this, on Leopard, um, 
a little bit longer than it does to get on a Tiger, but like I said, that was the first time. So when I get on Tiger next time, it should boot up a lot faster. So let's see here what we got. And I'll be able to tell in Leopard too if this is a lot smoother too, just by the way when I click on stuff. So now we're getting into Leopard here. And it's going to load it up here. Boom. Yeah, I can already tell it's faster on Leopard for sure. That's good. All right. Again, let's pop this back. Still showing that. Same thing. Okay. All right. Let's get out of that. And again, we're going to go into uh, Geekbench here on Leopard. And we'll run that Geekbench test on that. And I can already tell it's going, it's opening up everything much faster because before it took forever. So that's, that's good. Later. All right. And the benchmarks on Leopard was like half of what Tiger was. Um, so I'm curious how much of increase we have on Leopard after this is done. So I'm going to speed this up, guys, and um, be back as soon as it's done doing it. Wow, guys, that even ran faster than Tiger. And I can tell you already the Geekbench scores is better with this processor than it was when I did the Geekbench on the 450 megahertz processor on uh, Leopard here. So let me, uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Sweet. And like I said, I'm surprised this, this ran the test faster than Tiger. Tiger scores higher on it. But let's go and, um, Let's see here. Let me get into uh, Tiger here. Let me get into Documents. Let me get the other Geekbench here that I have. Okay. Come on. There we go. Helps when you hit the button. Okay. Now you can look here what we did first time. Let me, uh, let's see here. Uh, hang on here. I gotta sit down here to do this here. Hold on just a sec, guys. All right. Okay, so let me uh, nail that there. Let me move this here. Okay, all right. So there's that one there. Let me shrink this one down a little bit here. There, okay. Now we can kind of compare them here. All righty, so let's see here. Let me um, get this here. There we go. Get this. All right. So there it was before. So, <clears throat> okay. So you'll see, okay, the um, processor here. Let me uh, see. The new one was 274. Before we did the processor upgrade, it was 196. Floating point performance, 340 versus 159. That's huge. Memory performance 231 versus 
$99. Like I said, this thing with the 450 megahertz did terrible on the uh, Geekbench. Memory bandwidth, uh, 162 versus uh, 102. Let's go down here and check out what else we got here. Okay, so let's go down to the next one here. Alright, so operating system, a model identifier. See, again, it didn't really tell you what it is. Um, and this one is the power PC, here are megahertz. This one didn't say anything, no ID on it. Still the same thread count. This is 600, bus 99.6, that's still the same because it has 100 megahertz bus speed. Uh, cache, same thing, and that. So let's go to, word, oops, let's go to uh, processor performance here. And let's see. Oops. Hold on here. Let's try this again here. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So you can see a huge difference already. Um, this one here is 292, 191. Text compress little better but almost the same text decompress 225 versus 211 uh, image compress 385 versus 221 that's a big difference a uh, decompress 291 versus 150 or 191 so that's the same actually uh, let me see what else here we got and and in the Luna 237 versus 151 so again um, Big improvement on most of those. And let's go here. So floating point score. This should be a huge difference here. Look at that. 340 versus 159. 224, 161. 359 versus 116. I mean, there's only one really that that did better in. But look at this. Primary test, blew that out of the water. Same thing on the sharpening image, 435 versus 156. Blur image, 562 versus um, 413. So memory score was 99 on that one. And on this one, memory score was 231. Huge difference. Double, over double. And then see the read. Let's take a look here how that compares here. And then we'll be just about done with this here. Okay. So now you can see it. Again, huge difference writing. A lot faster to write. And, you know, of course this has the SSD in it. So, you know, the SSD can work faster, you know, because there's not such, such a bottleneck in the processing part of it. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at this, just excellent performance on the uh, uh, Leopard. That's great. Now, like I said, I will, this is a 600 megahertz processor. When I get my hands on that 125 gigahertz processor that he does, I'm going to put that in there. And this is going to be the last time that I take that board out of there. I mean, the poor things, I've had things thing open about like four times now. But anyway, so yeah, and then, then we'll run the Geek Bench scores again, and, and it'll probably blow all those out of the water. So yeah, so very good. And I can tell you already, also, that it's much more responsive in Leopard. Leopard was very, very slow, and uh, just, you know, just getting in everything. Now, I don't have the uh, 10 for Firefox on this, or 10 for Fox on this one. I'm just going to open Safari and just see. It opens that a lot faster. It, it took about a minute for it to open before. But, you know, Safari doesn't work very good. The older version of Safari on the internet. So, but, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's loading up though. Oh yeah, much faster there too. I know on the 10.4 Fox it'd be much, much faster too. So yeah, and I gotta get the Mac App Store on this one too. 
so I can download some things on Tiger and more stuff on it. So yeah, so this has definitely been a successful upgrade for sure. And uh, like I said, 9.2.2 runs really good too. I had no problem with that. Um, so yeah. So anyway, and you can see it's just chugging away over there. It's running nice and cool. I mean, it's amazing. Now I'm going to do a thermal on here. Actually, let me do a thermal on it real quick before I end the video here. Okay, so let me uh, see, make sure I'm on Fahrenheit here. Okay, let's just see what kind of temperature we got coming out of the top of this thing. Shows, uh, I don't know if you can see it here. Where are we at here? Here we go. Uh, let me get it right in front of the camera here. Oh, hold on here. That didn't last very long. I think my battery's down here. Oh, hold on, let's try it again here. Hold on. Okay. There you go. You see it there? Let me turn the backlight on here so you can see it better here. It says 78, but I know it's a little hotter than that. I don't want to get it too close because it'll shut off. But down below it's about 68. Um, but this fan, I mean, it just even it's a 12 volt fan, but I'm just running on five volts, and it's and it's giving me plenty of airflow. Um, that's what I like about it. And so anyway, yeah. So all right, guys. So um, I'm gonna wrap up this video in just a minute here. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys. So. Yeah, we had a that was a successful upgrade on the G4, and like I said, uh, tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to be getting something that we can get the bong back on this. And when you guys comment on the video, tell me what you think it is, and uh, I'm curious. But uh, the old method that I had with that wireless speaker didn't work, so we got another way of getting the, the sound back on this. And you're going to be very, very uh, pleasantly surprised what's going to be. You might already know. So anyway, um, thank you guys very much. I appreciate all your all the new subscribers. I gave you guys a shout out last week. Uh, I think I picked up one more. We are currently still at 40. We got 10 more to go. 10 more to go and guess what? Then we can do the uh, USB mic giveaway. I can hardly wait. So anyway guys, this has been another video of uh, Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I have fun making these videos. Um, I really try to give you guys good content. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, bye.